CorelDRAW Graphic Suite X5 has an amazing selection of creative tools. In this video, I'm going to highlight a number of new and enhanced tools that will help you create and design with confidence. Let's take a look. The two point line tool found in the curve flyer has three options. Option one, two point line. Click once to establish your start point, click and drag in any direction, and when you release your mouse, you will create the second point of that line. The next option is perpendicular. Simply click on the edge of any surface, begin to drag your mouse and the line will come off of the edge of that surface at a perfect perpendicular. Option 3, tangential. Clicking again, particularly on a curved surface, as you can see the line comes off at a perfect tangent. When snapping to your next object, to continue on, hold your finger on control and it will remain snapped. The B spline tool is a very easy way to create curves. Click, and every time you click, you're creating a floating control point. To clamp a point, hold V on your keyboard, and that point becomes clamped. The new Join Curves Docker allows you to select independent curved vector based objects. Click the Docker to activate. Any points that fall inside of the gap tolerance will automatically connect. If I increase the gap tolerance, Additionally, we can see these two points can also connect. Choose the type of connection that you would like and click Apply. With this broken rectangle, if I were to choose Extend, increase the gap tolerance, we can recreate a perfect rectangle. The Rectangle tool now has some great additional properties. You can choose from any one of three corner types. If I enter a value of say 10, hit Enter, I have perfect radius corners. If I now readjust or scale my rectangle, as you can see, all corners maintain that perfect radius. If I turn off relative corner scaling, as I resize now, I will maintain that exact value as in the property bar, no matter what I do. And finally, it's very easy to simply alternate your corner type, scalloped corner or chamfered corner, any time you need. The dimension tools have now been placed in a single flyout. Using the tools is easy. For example, the parallel dimension tool. Simply click, drag to your next point, release your mouse, move your pointer and click. And the new segment dimension tool is tremendous. Simply click near a node to capture, in this case, the radius. A single click captured the distance of that radius. And finally, the three point callout. Simply click and drag click again and type your text. It's that easy. A great new feature is the new pixel preview mode. I'll zoom in very tightly on the end of this leaf to demonstrate. If we now come up to view and turn on pixel preview mode, we now see a perfect rendition of this image as if it were a bitmap. Furthermore, I can still select the shape tool and if on the standard toolbar I turn on snap to pixels, I can still select an object and what I'll do is select that node and as I begin to move, can you see how that node point is snapping to my pixels? This is a brilliant way to perform the final touch-ups on any design. The new objects docker allows you to work with precision. Selecting my object here, I need to place the lower left hand corner at 186 by 143 coordinates, hit enter, and I need my object to be the accurate size of 65 millimeters by 45 millimeters. Again, hitting enter. If I click replace object, look at that. We have the perfect result based on perfect calculations. There have been a number of enhancements to the color palette manager. Now these include new and much more accurate Pantone colors. You'll even notice we have a number of roll and color palettes as well. Overall, the manager is a lot easier to work with. As you can see down the bottom here, we have all of our default palettes and I can simply turn on or off the display of a palette as I feel I need to use that particular palette. One of the things I love is that I can select an object and on the manager choose create a new palette from the selected object. I'll type in leaf green and click save and now I have a brand new palette as you can see only consisting of the colors within that image. This also applies to very complex colored bitmaps etc. 
If I want to turn off the display, simply click, and in fact I can close or close up the hierarchy of my palettes. Last but not least, if you need to work with some third party palette, simply choose open and you can introduce that palette into your project. The new connector tools flyout makes connecting objects together a breeze. Selecting the straight line connector, simply click and drag and release. For right angles, the right angle connector tool, click and drag. For rounded right angles, again simply click and drag. Right click on a colour wheel to change the colour. To change the anchor point, select the edit anchor tool, select your object and simply move the anchor point of your connecting line. It's that easy. The mesh fill tool has been vastly improved. If I zoom in here on these two objects, on the left you'll see beautiful smooth transition of colour and on the right are those typical harsh lines in the mesh that we're used to seeing in the past. If I select the mesh fill tool and I click on this object, first of all whenever you create an object now with the mesh fill tool there are actually less nodes making it easier to work with. And if I click and drag a colour into the node area, can you see the beautiful, smooth, seamless transition of colour? Furthermore, on the property bar, we now have a smooth mesh colour button option. If I turn this off, you can notice the colour becomes a little more washed out, but with it turned on, we have a rich depth of colour blend. Now additionally, I can select a number of nodes and on the property bar I can actually make that area of my mesh transparent so you can actually see through. This is a really powerful effect that you'll find very handy. And also new to CorelDRAW X5, all toolbars are locked by default. To unlock and move a toolbar, right click on any of the toolbars and deselect the lock toolbars option you'll now notice grab handles appear at the end of all the toolbars. Simply click on a grab handle and drag that bar to your new location. To redock to the last location, simply double click on the title bar. PhotoPaint has a brand new powerful tool for converting color photographs to grayscale. If we come up to image and down to grayscale, you can see we now have control over individual colors within the image. Notice the high level of red within these leaves. Well, if I move the red slider toward the black end of grayscale, notice how the leaves darken on the grayscale preview. And again, this applies to all of the other colors. For a perfect result every time though, just run with the default. You're guaranteed to always have a good grayscale conversion. One of my favorite new features in Photo Paint is found under Adjust and it's called Vibrance. Vibrance is a new effect that allows you to add a richness of color to your images without oversaturating, oftentimes destroying images. Now if I turn off Preview and then turn it back on, you can see the difference. The color has come alive, but we've maintained the integrity of the photograph. There is now a new filter that allows you to overlay a color on top of an image. If I come to Effects, Camera and choose Photo Filter, we can now simulate the effects of different filters as if they were on your camera when you took the photograph. Let's select the color yellow and I'll reduce this back to a value of around 56 and click OK. That's after and that's before. So as you can see, it's a tremendous way to add effects to your photographs simply and easily. The object docker in PhotoPaint has been enhanced. For example, if I move this thumbnail slider to the right, we can increase the size of the thumbnail display. If I turn on thumbnail extents mode, we can display only the object rather than displaying the object within the size of the whole image. Also, you'll notice we have a group of objects here. If I turn on Groups View Mode, I can see all of the objects within that group within that single thumbnail. And this triangle here allows me to break down the group so that I can access all of the images within the group to select them to work on them. A lot of great new features.